Hey, what's going on, you guys? I'm Michael. I'm from Overland Bound. We are the worldwide adventure community, always trying to get you out there to explore and find adventure of your own. Why? Because adventure is necessary. Um, I got something super fun to talk to you guys about today, and that is the launch of the BF Goodrich KM3 Mud Terrain Tires. Now, people have been talking about this event for years. I've used BF Goodrich tires for decades. I was very curious what this new mud terrain would be like. I've been using the KM2s for a really long time, and I'm late. I'm Mr. Tardy Guy. I owe you guys this review. Now, we've had the KM3s on our rig for months. We've been part of the BFG R&D team providing feedback about how the tires are operating in the wild, but we got this saying, don't talk about it, be about it. And so we wanted to get real experience behind the KM3 tires before we did any kind of review. So what have we done? All right, so since we have the tires installed, we did a trip from the San Francisco Bay Area all the way down as far in Baja as you can go to Cabo San Lucas and back. That was a 17 day journey on all kinds of different terrain. Then once we got back, we did 13 states in 13 days all around the United States. And we've had those tires on every type of terrain imaginable. Now that equals about 20,000 miles. We're north of 20,000 miles now on the KM3s. So I came back and I was like, you know what? Let's do the review. And then my phone rings, ring, 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 ring. So I go into the kitchen, right? I pick up the phone off the cradle. I'm like, hello? And who's on the other end? It's BF Goodrich. They're like, hey, Mike, because they call me Mike. How would you like to come to the most gnarly challenging trail in North America, the Rubicon Trail, and test these tires out in the wild? Now, I didn't have to check my calendar. I was like, I'm there. All right, now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give you the review of the KM3 tires and our personal experience, but first, have a bit of fun with me. We had the opportunity to do this. What are we doing? Okay, so right now you're gonna test out the uh, road capabilities of the KM3 mud terrain. Awesome. So you've got improved handling on the on the highway. Uh huh. Uh, the KM2 and really mud tires in general, uh, they like to walk all over the road. They don't like to stay in their lane. Yeah. Uh, so KM3 has got better road handling, better uh, road characteristics so that you're able to track in a straight line on the road better. I'm I'm also here with Remy, but I won't keep I won't, he going? <laughs> I won't put him on camera if he doesn't want to be on no, camera. That's fine. <laughs> you're a professional hunter. Yep. I'm right professional on. Professional hunter. I cool. do uh, all kinds of guiding and then um, as well as a couple different uh, outdoor television shows. All right. Shall we, we rock? Let's roll. All right. What do you think so far? We've only been doing a few miles, but what it, do you think? Uh, actually, it tracks really well. My wife has the same vehicle, and she's just got you know the stock tires on it. We figured yep. we'll just run those down, but it tracks. I mean, it drives just like her stock tires almost. Hey, I'm here at the Char Pit. It's a top secret place that nobody knows about out in the middle of no place. No, it's not. We're just stopping by for some lunch. Char Pit in uh, Tahoe, and uh, their menu looks awesome. Hey, Corey and I just arrived. We're in Squaw Valley in Tahoe. You know where to go? 
I'm gonna get lost. <laughs> Look, check it out. Oh wait, you wanna see the scenery, not my face. Hey, you wanna hear something cool? So, BF uh, Goodrich learned that we have the Overland Bound rig uh, at the place here that we drove. Um, so they wanna put it on display with the rest of the rigs down there. So we're gonna move it down there. Hey you guys, so we're here at the event at, uh, uh, at Squaw Valley and hanging out here with a bunch of friends at um, BF Goodridge, catching up, we're talking about what's going to happen this weekend and tonight it's just a chance to, to, to meet with some folks and make some new friends, say hello to some old friends and, and um, we've got a bunch of different builds here all making models and people from uh, every, every hobby, lifestyle, sport, from really hardcore uh, rock crawling, my friend John Williams is behind me, um, to, you know, AT ATVs, side-by-sides, Jeep crew, and of course, uh, Overlanders as well. Hey guys, I'm here having a lousy time. Um, we're about to sit down to dinner, but I'm sitting here with uh, Jay. Jay designed this tire. You beat these tires up yourself? I have actually went on the Baja 1000 with these tires personally. Northeast Georgia, Vermont, Colorado with it. It's all four corners. I don't sit behind a cue ball. We're going to try and break them. We're going to try and bust that, them up. That's what you have for. Yeah, I exactly. Want to put them through the paces, let yeah. them know when they scream. Hey, what's going on? Okay, so we just ended a really awesome day. We had a very cool dinner. And now we're going to bed kind of early uh, because we have to get up oh dark 30 tomorrow. I'm going to get flown by helicopter at 8.15 tomorrow. Um, that's that's 18 wheels up from the LZ, 8.15, to get flown up to the Rubicon Trail. How awesome is that? And it's my birthday. Corey's brushing her teeth. God, that was amazing coming up here. Uh, just incredible seeing the view. The only one way to experience that, that's from the air. That was, that was awesome. Now we're gonna tackle this stuff on the ground. 
John, tell us about your Jeep. Come on, you know this is not my Jeep. This is BF Goodrich's <laughs> nice Jeep. So, uh, this started out as one of BFG's first Jeeps that they owned and had in their fleet, nicknamed Ruby. Well, I kind of took it maybe a little overboard. <laughs> Refresh to me meant new frame, new axles, new suspension, new shocks, new tires, new seats, redone interior, Curry RockTrack 70s, ARB air lockers, 488 gears, PSC steering, Curry anti-rocks, TerraFlex, Alpine long arm suspension with their speed bump bump stop system. We've got Fox 2.5 inch race series remote reservoir with the dual speed compression adjusters, a Bruiser 480 horsepower LS3 sitting under the hood <laughs> so this thing can get out of its own way. Yeah. We got Method Race Wheel Beat Locks, 29, 12, 50, 17, 39, 13, 50, 17, KM3s, uh, which are amazing by the way, absolutely yeah. amazing tire. Who's driving this today? Me. Right on. Lucky me. <laughs> Lucky me. So this is Lynx. Uh, it's a kind of our integrated control unit. In each of these screens, I can put up to two modules on each screen. It'll never show the same one on both of them. If the radio gets too low. Sure. Radio's good. Tom just gave me a rundown of the Link. Lynx. Lynx. Yep. System. Yep. That that they just rolled out at ARB. It's pretty pretty darn impressive. And uh, we got a debrief outside, so we're about to hit the trail. Let's go. Of course, I know of the Rubicon. I've never traveled on the Rubicon before. It's one of the most demanding trails in the Sierras for off-road vehicles. I'm really looking forward to uh, what the KM3s can do on it. Stabilizer, we gotta get this thing pulled off here. If it all happened according to plan, it wouldn't be an adventure. So here's something cool. I am driving the ARB uh, Jeep. They, they trusted me with their rig on the Rubicon Trail and uh, I haven't scratched it yet. Dan, what do you put me in? We're gonna put you in what they call an Ultra Four. It's kind of a cross between a trophy truck yeah. in the desert and a rock crawler. But they're out here on the Rubicon Trail and they're bombing around like this is like it's Baja it's or something. It's like it's kitten play. These things are amazing. All right. These things are amazing. All right. If you feel so, if you hear something screaming in the background like a banshee, <laughs> <laughs> and here they come. on the Rubicon. Right on. We are in a solid axle car. We got smaller tires than these other guys. We've been sneaking by them in the rough stuff and then uh, <laughs> so trying to block the path on the high speed stuff. We're going to go for a ride. Do it. <laughs>
I'm Andrew Conrad Picard of the BF Goodrich Performance Team. I'm a rally racer, an X Games guy, and a stuntman in Hollywood. And I'm taking this guy up the mountain in a Ford Raptor on BF Goodrich Mud Terrain Cam 3s. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> So tell me about these brakes. <laughs> They're hot. They're hot. Someone's having fun. All right, so clearly we had a blast. It's not often you get to do something like that, and it was fantastic hanging out with the BF Goodrich team, such an awesome group of people. Now, let's get right into the tire review. When we sat down with Jay from BF Goodrich Tires, we asked him some questions about the new KM3s. We turned to the community and we said, hey, what are the three things you guys want to know about the new tire? Number one, what is the single thing that was most important to improve between the KM2 and the KM3? And the response was on-road manners. They wanted a tire that performed better on the road without sacrificing the durability and performance off the road. They wanted the tire to track better. Mud terrain tires tend to drift a little bit on the concrete. They wanted to make sure that the tire tracked really well, just like a street tire. So they tried a number of different tire patterns until they improved upon the KM2 significantly. The number two question was, what is different in the rubber compound between the KM2 and the KM3? There's some speculation that they just used the KO2 uh, compound. That's not true. They tried seven different compounds. They tested it not only in the lab, but also in the uh, Baja 1000. And if you remember, the tire was delayed. That's because a year ago, after they thought they had the best tire compound, they ran it through the Baja 1000. It was a significant improvement, but they said, you know what? We can do better. And they, had, they ended up on the compound that we have today. So it's not a KO2 compound. It's a new compound that they're using to help uh, increase the street manners and also reduce the noise on the street. This is a, a, a truly uh, a quieter tire. And the third thing that people ask was, when does um, the tire performance and functionality give way to style? And the answer was immediate, never, it doesn't. The way the tire looks is a result of its performance and functionality, and it just happens to look badass. So what do I personally think of the tire? Uh, we really like it. Now you guys know that um, I have something to base this, this opinion on. Over 20,000 miles on the KM3s, plus a trek down through Baja, and then the States, and now we've been on the Rubicon Trail, and we've had a significant number of vehicles all with four tires, you multiply that times the times the, the number of vehicles and all the miles, and there was not a single tire failure in any of those trips or on the Rubicon Trail. So that speaks to the toughness of the tire. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Now, if you learned one thing, got inspired, we made you smile, go ahead and hit the subscribe. And if you're still here for crying out loud, you should consider going to our website, becoming an Overland Bound member because we'd love to have you part of our worldwide crew. Adventure is necessary, and we're here to help you outfit and explore. Keep being awesome, you guys.